Hey, Greg. Here's my holiday date. What? A date solely for the holiday. No commitment. It's not Christmas movie season unless you have a cheesy rom-com and Holiday firmly ticks that box. I am done casually dating on the holidays. There's way too much pressure, it's ridiculous. Try being the only single person left in your family. Rodney said you didn't call him. You didn't call Rodney? Why didn't you call Rodney? Why didn't you call Rodney? Because I already have a boyfriend. The film sees two strangers fed up with being single during the holidays who decide to be each other's platonic plus ones all year long, which is the obvious recipe for romance. Holiday rule number three, leave no holiday behind. No hands touched. Just protection? It features Emma Roberts, Kristen Chenoweth and Aussie hunk Luke Bracey. Human beings aren't meant to be alone on the holidays. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Nobody drops baby on her head. Christmas is a time for caring, being at your best. Christmas is a time for sharing, Knowing you've been blessed. Who doesn't love Dolly Parton? Who are you? I'm an angel. And with 14 original songs. Angels glow and they shine so brightly. Who cares about the plot? Christmas is a time for angels making things all right. Oh, what joyful bliss. Where are you with the research on Operation Christmas Drop? First there was Operation Dumbo Drop, now there's Operation Christmas Drop. No, those films aren't related, nor is it about having too much food over the holidays. It's a heartwarming army base romance from your friends at Netflix. Just give me 24 hours to show you what we do here. Then, write whatever you want in your report. I'm not gonna tell the congresswoman to take it easy because you have a big heart and a nice smile. So you admitted I have a nice smile? It features a regular military Santa who has a yearly tradition of airlifting goods to the citizens of Guam for Christmas. Using military equipment to drop Christmas presents can't be justified. That's not what's happening here, man. If there's one thing I've learned out here on this island, it's that though you never want to forget your traditions, there's always room to make new ones. I'm Stacy, and this is Duchess Margaret. We met two years ago and changed each other's lives forever. I married Prince Edward, and Margaret dated my friend Kevin. They tried to make it work, but soon learned long distance is harder than it looks. The wait is over. The sequel to everyone's favorite Christmas film, The Princess Switch, is here, now with 33% more Vanessa Hudgens. Presenting Lady Fiona Pembroke. <laughs> Maggie Moo. Oh. Double chin, that's a delete. Here we go. The Princess Switch switched again sees Duchess Margaret Vanessa Hudgens unexpectedly inheriting the throne to Montanaro while hitting a rough patch with her beau Kevin. So it's up to her double, Stacy Vanessa Hudgens again, to save the day. You want us to do what? We switch back. You said you needed more time with Kevin. Do you really think we could pull it off? Again? Does that mean you'll do it? Did you talk this over with Kevin? If Margaret's in. I'm in. <laughs> However, a third lookalike, Margaret's evil cousin Lady Fiona, yet another Vanessa Hudgens, disguises herself as Margaret in a scheme to steal the throne. Makes sense? Merry Christmas. Off with their heads. <laughs>